takes his head clean off. And Apex now on Masuda. Have to try and scrape together a bit of a defense. Masuda's getting aggressive, takes the head off in midair. Flashbang there afterwards. And Masuda's got both of them, but taps him from the side, comes in. May just trades back out. Dupree is all that remains. And he Crimbo and the USP. Julie's fire off. Oh, there's so many missed bullets on both players. It just takes one to connect, and Crimbo will seal the. All right, evacuated the premises. No kits as well as they come charging it. Oh, they, they, oh, they assume they're going to be saving at the edge, Vince, but no one's there. I love the attempt. I love kit here for the CTs. And look at this, Vince. Heavy presence from the CTs towards mid and towards B. A Tizian is good for one, but a trade is solid. And I like this aggression here from Dupree towards B stairs. Oh, double peak, though. Double angles to watch out for. And because of this scrappy start, I mean, like, considering his back was turned, and it is three on three. All things considered, this round is still up for debate, especially as I was picked up another frag. And although he's down at 8 HP and his teammate of Magus is 31, they're still putting the frags down with Apex. Grenade up and over, but it's not the weakened Magus. Instead, it's Apex that comes back sweet. The Firmus Tutor, though, this is the Firmus could be a detriment. The Vitality push. Flash over first. Still gets what? both while Flash Masuta. The angle, Vince. Not just that, but keeping five players alive allows him to trade up to some AKs. They catch themselves. The season. <laughs> he was Apex was waiting. Not a single bit of investment. Okay, that was a little awkward as Crimbo falls to his death. Where? Okay, I need to see how Crimbo fell. Was, did it try to run boost? I'm not even sure, but they have lost Apex, but it's okay. Apex, sorry, they have lost a player, but Apex is going to come in from behind, and his aim is true. And oh, there lies Crimbo. There's tons of utility, though. There's flashes and smokes that are going to be coming his way. Needs a rotation quick. Send Deary down. Now they'll be running into Dupree. Two kills goes way. Not only one kill. He was only good for one. And now Magus has managed to move in close enough with his AK and M4 alongside it where you expect things to start to fall into position for the CTs and Masuda. Magus spraying down. The round is over. But it wasn't without a couple of twists and turns and shaky moments. Comfortable here. This heavy B-centric defense from uh, Vitality is something that we could opt to try and disrupt. Look at this three-man hole. Faven able to find one, and I don't even know how he's still alive. Magisto replies back. Faven still looking to find more. These trades are fast and furious. Apex lobbing in the nade, however, not able to quite deal too much of damage. Huge round from Faven here early on. Apex wants to go back in. There's a smoke down there. Could have fought him in one way. Oh, but his spray is off. He'll feel like he should have done better. Now Masuda's caught between two completely separate angles. This would be heroics if he pulled it off. Smoke tossed in for Zaiwu to change up his angle. And a Molotov in position. However, this is all a ruse for Masuda to have impact. An impact he shall have as he carves a path through Tabson's head. And that forces Big away. They heard two players over here. But there is a fast flank in as well. And Magus has to try and hold on by himself. Incendiary forces him out to put in a smoke. He'll be looking to try and spray in for a few kills. There's one. But an even trade will not be good enough. Off. Big take control over the site whilst I woo misses the shot midair. Incendio take the duel, dropping on down is completely blinded, but he has recovered now. Oh, and the A1S not showing traces allows him to just pivot in for a frag. They don't know he's here. Second kill comes in for Sai Wu, but there's the re-engage from Tabson. Two kills go to his way. No. Misuta whips out on the spray, but more importantly, Tabson gets a third entry. And all the flashes are good to just pave a way that re-engage for a moment. Tabson can now find a little bit of window to fall on back, but Tabson's pushed up again. The nightmare of the last round on the CT side is still alive and still kicking and still claiming frags. Tamsin will be traded out, but it Searson then instantly puts an end to Apex's streak in round 11. And just like that again, good maneuvering from Vitality. They have what looks on paper to be the winning formula here, but if they push through unneeded, unnecessarily, Tizian could punish them and punish them. He shall do kills to Tizian. Apex mollies himself out in the open, and it's all come apart at the seats of Vitality. Oh. Magus gets caught off guard, but he stands his ground to deliver the fatal blow down to 19 HP. 25 seconds to go, and Magisk was spotted. Crimbo is w watching for this angle. One bullet will seal it up. And Dupree 
now has to try and clutch. The thing is, though, he's got a... Uh, that, that was a free kill. That trade should have taken place immediately. But a protocol from Big was so good. Searson on the ace bit. He's got four kills already. Favin will finish off Dupree. The boost doesn't quite work out. Krimbo close by. Zaiwu needs to go big. Cut down where he stands. The M4 trades hands, but Apex puts his deal to use. Taps and won't let him escape though, as the HG will bounce off the back of Apex. Uh, it's isolated, it's not tradable. Okay, okay, let's play a little game of can taps and survive. Nope. No. <laughs> they, they, they. Masuta in the same position, hasn't had too much success. Will that change in this round? Nope. It's more of the same. Magisk is the only player that's posting up anything in return. Tries to muster up the strength for a clutch, but instead it's a do and done. And Dupree, the B defender, will be going in. Has a little bit more in terms of that flashbang. And we've seen him go crazy in these kind of situations before, but it's not going to be happening here because all of the mo these CTs now will be going in fully. He's not sure if they have HEs, if they have incendiaries to toss to his way. And Tapson gets up on the headshot angle, but it's Zai Wu that returns the favor. Nullifies him, gives Vitality a huge advantage post-plant. As one of the heavy hitters has been dealt with instead of hacking. Dupree, Masuda, both tap in through the smokes and flashes. But now Krimpo comes in. The full defuse is coming out. Here comes the shank. He pulls off the side. He's still in the smoke. How has Favon survived this long? And he's still alive? He's still got a chance to clutch this. Absolutely no way should this be the case. And Vitality is making a lot of noise at the back of ramp, so the CTs might not be expecting this, but Apex is in for the rude awakening. Oh no, there's so many CTs, so many bodies there. But they walk into the blender and Dupree. But Zai Wu sees it, sprays down, knows the second player has to be there. Three play four in this retake. Just making sure they're not getting flanked in. They just now with the spray, but it's not only Good enough for one, but maybe a second as Zai Wu still alive, stuck in the ramp. One on one, Krimbo's already clutched out a couple of times in this best of three, but he has to go above and beyond. He's against the powerhouse of Zai Wu. 46 HP plays 57. And the smoke onto the side. Zai Wu's gonna use this to his own advantage. Pushes inside and has the perfect read. Clutches out for his. Absent and big at the end of the series. Because right now in the tournament, in the legend stage, they have the most amount of nade damage amongst anyone. That does not surprise me in the slightest. Tabson is so on point with that. Trading out the Deagle on the low players. Tabson is taking a back seat. Allow Crypto to shine. But the B side is being dulled down, and that's at the hands of Dupree. The bomb is now making moves in, in road onto the side. Tizzy is boosted for this 2 on 4. There's maybe a way forward, but Dupree and Masuda won't be giving him that chance. Dupree now goes in for the peak. They know he's here, and they won't let him survive. This round is done. Vitality have now closed the gap to just three. On towards mid, Molotov towards window as well, as we have a heavy take coming in from Vitality towards mid here. Masuda's already wrapping around the back. Big kill to Tizian. Has sight control. And this central control puts Big in such an awkward position. Faven, though, comes out swinging. Lands the Haymaker onto Masuta and Apex. Knocks them both clean out. And in doing so now, Dupree has to make moves onto B site. Faven there on the generators. Dupree pushing past him, navigating himself in, but Faven gets his turn. 19 HP left. Molotov's now descending onto the site, forcing the T's out into the open. Majus trying to tap himself in with Zai Wu. They're still in with a chance, but Majus has now been put down. Zai Wu with low ammunition trades across to the M4. Stuck in the smoke, there's only 28 seconds. Big headshot, but there's Tapson for the re-engage. But Faven was... This game of cat and mouse continues. There was a brief moment before the smoke plumed, and now Faven fully flashed, fully blinded, can't see anything. And once the flash is cleared, he will be on the bench. Things slow down now on the side of Big. They've been smoked off. They've been forced out of position. Searson needs impact. But Dupree manages to navigate them way across. Finally put down. Tizian comes in for one. Tanshin now steps up, but Masuda knocks him back down to the ground. And it doesn't seem as though Big have enough pieces to play with at this. Will keep the AK. Tabson having full faith in the young man's ability. Molotov fires by. Masuda, though, will take him down. And Krimbo. 
And his AK have actually spilled down in an awkward position, oh. not where Tabson could pick it up. That cost Tabson his life. He was trying to get across to the AK, and in doing so, Apex is given. How did he name? They have the lead in the series, this do or die series to stay alive. And even if they win it, they're not quite done yet. They will still have yet another best of three to play tomorrow to make even four lead that Big had. This is a big comeback. Look at the aggression here from Big towards the stairs. Favin in a beautiful position. They won't check him. He's going to find one, and he's looking for more. Oh, never mind. Missouri, Majeski, and Dupree, they all strike! And you blink and you wrecked as they try to run away from the, uh, the the crime scene. It was a great start, you get Zaiwu, and then everything collapses. Uh, but there won't be a second to follow it up, and Dupree is now closing the gap, but Faven is still alive on the site with a deagle, ran out of ammunition, wanted to put down the smoke. And in amongst that action, the prodigy himself, Zaiwu, will stand tall and deliver. Big have CS and still though. That AWP at the start of the round maintains its position, but he looks more like he's looking for exit frags than anything else. Tabson's whittled his way onto lower staircase. CSM with a big pick. There is no kit between the two players, but there are two spokes and a HE, and still plenty of time left. CSM's going in for this. They want this. They can sense the blood in the water, but CSM narrowly navigates his way across, not to get franked, and in doing so, his teammate is deemed forfeit. Rushed from the AK-47, flashes proceed to push. Tizian caught in no man's land, needs to get at least one kill. Is gonna take the fight to Vitality, but that backfires. As Iwu now gets sprayed down, Farben, one for one trade, but he's beating two players up, but Searson sprayed. Painted on it, and Vitality looking for that precision once more to throw the dart perfectly. Apex. Gift wrap to freebie. See it soon, even while Flash still nullifies him. And Tabson, though, on the receiving end of a battering in the middle. See it once again steps up to the plate and delivers. But Dupree is giving Vitality the advantage one more time. See it is still in with a chance. Molly is down onto him. Has to flick, has to reposition to keep himself in the fight. Narrowly missing out on his chances. He is trying his damnedest. He is trying everything in his power to get big into this matchup. But now Krimbo is the last man standing. Big frag with a 5-7, but Zaiwu with a tech 9. Searson has been a standout player, though. He's had a lot of impact with this AWP, as you mentioned in the first half. Was instrumental in all of their success. And Krimbo's forced out. Big kill goes in for one. Bit of damage onto the second player as well. He's done his job. But this is where that mid-contingent really... The finances still haven't fully recovered on Big. Dupree may be given the opportunity against Maven, but the timing works against him. Big, though, have got their second seat. Even pull back to the generators. The smokes are good. The flashes on point. Molotov all over the site. Now going to start to clear. But Faven in a good enough position to thwart this push. Spray through the smoke is good. Faven gets two, but Majors can Dupree will counteract. A five seconds left in the timer. Dupree puts an end to the life. Apex in, coming out second best in that spray. Tabson keeps himself alive. Flashes are good and Krimbo's push even better. Masuda, the only Vitality player that has struck in this round, but that's gonna be coming to an abrupt end. 28 HP becomes zero and HE's being tossed in. Big looking good to maybe get their third round here. And considering oh. that Tizian has just threaded the eye of the needle with the Deagle, this round should be- At least this time he delivers. They've seen a bomb as well. They know exactly where he is. And Dupree, gotta say his days are numbered. They all peek him together. Sandbags, Tapson looking to find something. Krimbo as well, but he's oh, Richard's gonna be obscured. He could find Zaiwu though. Oh, angle, double spray is good. Tapson and Krimbo was coming with two. OT might still be an option after all. Apex taking a bit of damage. Mage is getting pushed off and punctured on the other side of the map. There's no success to be found on Vitality. It seems like Bigger finally awoken from their slumber on the CT side. Better late than never. And there's still a way forward, but Fabin's going to be closing the avenue and going in for one more. Big canal. may have pulled this out of the fire. Searson, 40 HP. Tabson, 4 HP. And Zywu with a freebie onto Tabson. It looks like Vitality have stolen this 2v3 and made it theirs. But Searson down but never truly out of the situation is coming in late he has no kit but he's landed the first frag 
and he backs out of there. The kit was on the window, and Dupree puts him down in the... Ever keeping their options open. Two players coming through mid, something we haven't seen a great deal of. Elevate is now under real threat. It's forcing CS's hand away. What? Shuts down Magisk in the back. Masuda can see the barrel of the gun. There's no way they can deal with this just yet, because Vitality are spreading their way out onto the site where Faven lays in wait with his A1S. So much damage done. Masuda trying desperately to get himself a couple, but he will fall. And now Apex in a one on three with 14 seconds left, 42 hit points to his name. And he's hoping that one of these CTs pushes out. He's going to get aggressive. CS around the corner, though, will put him down where he stands. And though so they're trying to sell this fence, and there's a walk on towards mid. Apex is trying to sell everything. And look, his rotation is drawing out. Tizian slowly peeling away. Timing is everything. But it's going to find the first. Can he find the second? Yes, he can. But Zai Wu able to trade. And Apex continues to push on ahead. This is again a topsy turvy run. Good. Molotov is so good as well. 12 HP left for Zai Wu. But he's going to get aggressive. Frag out can fall back. There's no flanking plate. Coming up for big, they're both pushing through from the CT side. Flashes in, Zaiwu once again nails the frag, and now Searson stands against him. 12 HP playing the 100, he's on he's the door with the flick before Apex comes back in for one of his own. But now Misuda has a chance to spray down all three players, they line up for him! It's two, and here comes Apex, but he whiffs the spray! It could be good enough though. Faven down to 21, oh. and the HG, one HP remaining. Faven, time is an issue he has to contend with. He wants to get one before going for this. That Molotov is perfection. Gonna go in for the plant as well, but Magix wipes wings. He sees the time, he knows what decision to make here because their money's not exactly ideal on a couple of these players, but I assume they're still gonna go in for it. Three players bumping up, Tizian gets bested. Zaiwu takes the A4, uses it against him. And time is ticking away. Molotov's lined up onto the window. Now tossed into position. I'm not sure there's a smoke to de deal with that. Indeed there is. There's also a flanking element coming in with a former Sison. Si si so all of this is a race against time. But Big don't need him to show his hand. The Molotov, a couple of seconds too late though. Tapson's already crept his way up towards round. The nade's going to be a dead giveaway. Zaiwu once again has to be the hero. They go for the boost. The timing is perfect. Oh, the wall bang though from Tizian's up to the task. But it kills Apex, not Zaiwu. So the man is still alive, still a threat. With the A1S joined by Magisk, a duo of tantalizing prospects to try and lock this down, take us to second OT. There's a flank coming in, the spray down not quite there for both players, but the flash preceding the push before Zaiwu takes the head of Tizian and knocks Krimbo down to 10. 30 seconds to play with. krimbo has been in quite a few of these positions already today with varying degrees of success, trying to fake out, and there is Dupree. Be kept to the side. Apex in no position to fend off this push. They've completely vacated the premises as a result of this middle aggression. And now Tizian in for one. Apex with a spray only musters about 50 HP worth of damage, and Masuda goes down to the hands of Tabson. Dupree. Last man standing. Some magic on the side. There's one flash down in the meanwhile, though. Now Magus steps up, delivers some fatal shots. And the bomb's been dropped down on ramp. Surely there's no way back into this round, or perhaps there is. Perhaps I spoke too soon because Tapson comes out there with nowhere with two frags. But he only has eight health to his name. And Dupree does have an eight. This nade could be everything, but he's gone the other way. Dupree's lining up the grenade, but it lands the wrong side of the boxes. And Tapson sprays him down with so Lower ramp. Waiting for Zaiwu to push into his crosshair. Flash is good, but Searson peaks a bit too early. Searson's now been bested. Dupree won. Needed to get two from that encounter realistically to give Zaiwu a chance. But it is Zaiwu we're talking about. He's positioned on window, and Zaiwu is living on borrowed time. As good as he is, he's gonna get shut down in the back, and big clean sweep that he half. It is isn't. This might be far gone, Masuda. Fast pace here. Very fast pace, running into the eyes of Krimbo, though. And Big off to a great start. Masuda and Dupree, though, bounce back with two of their own. And there is Zaiwu once again. HG up and over, won't be affecting two of them. And called them off from this area. Tizian could still make something big happen, but instead it's Masuda that trades evenly. They know Faven is stuck in this angle. They need to wrap around with two players strong from the right-hand side. But Faven is bypassing both of this aggression. He goes into the smoke. 
plays around it, but there is Dupree to shut him wide. The pain in the rear end on Vitality, but they're looking to try and take the fight. If they're going down, they're going out on their shield. And Fave in the meanwhile, though, still alive, still kicking, still fracking, still cleaning up with Tapson as well. And this is looking like a done deal. Unless Magisk can evict the CTs squatting on the site. 18 seconds, 10 HP, and the bomb down in an awkward position. Surely this is unwinnable. Molly down onto window. Now gonna look for the plant, but there's the dunk downtown from Crimbo with the HE, and we head to a third map. I feel so lucky to have witnessed that map. What a performance from both the teams. Big.